Good morning, class. Happy Friday. I've really missed you in our learning week that we could have shared together this week, but I'm so glad that you're safe and healthy and having fun at home. So I hope you've learned something new about cows. Um, I hope you've had fun reading readers of your choice at home. I picked for my three cow facts that I enjoyed learning the most about this week was we already knew that baby cows are called calves. Cows give us milk. But I loved learning how cows can eat up to 50 pounds of food every day. They're herbivores, so they only eat grass and grains. 50 pounds, that's so much. I thought that was so interesting. I also thought it was interesting how they have long, unique tails, and those tails are mainly useful for swatting flies, just like we swat flies with our hands. Cows can swat flies with their long tails. And last but not least, males are actually called bulls, and the males are the ones that have the horns. So I have a joke for you. What is, or let's see. What do you call a sleepy cow? A sleepy cow. A bulldozer. Get it? <laughs> Females are called cows. And so I have another joke for you. Females are the ones that give us milk. So that's a clue. Ready? Why did the cow cross the road? To get to the udder side. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed our cow learning. Part of this week, I wanted you for art to draw a cow. You got to choose the drawing of your choice. You also, words to know, learned about cow parts. So now it's time to start one of my favorite stories that I've read to my kids at home as well to kindergartners in the class. The story of Ferdinand. This story, the author is Munro Leaf. The drawings are by Robert Lawson. Here we go. I hope you enjoy the story of Ferdinand. There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. but not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls? and skip and butt your head, she would say, but Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. <laughs> As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was a very he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. but not Ferdinand. 
He used to like to just quiet, sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and budding, leaping and jumping. So the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him and that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, budding and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderillos with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadoras who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. And then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him... Ferdinand the Fierce and the Banderillas were afraid of him and the Picadores were afraid of him and the Matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and, and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled, and the banderillas were mad, and the picadors were madder, and the matador was so mad, he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and his sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he's sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly.